staying with us. We're still celebrating International Women's Month, but however, we're choosing to point out a few of our bad behaviors so that we can change. <coughs> so that when women change, um, society changes. And when we know better, we do better. And um, when we see videos disturbing like this, where um, children are maltreated and mistreated uh, under the care of a woman, that's a problem for us. So um, we're talking about this, this help. And I was going to link it up to another story we saw online also, where a family was having lunch out and they, they helped. They seemed to not be involved in the eating. They didn't give her any food. She was sitting down on the side and was totally <coughs> ignored and wasn't invited to eat or even invited to the table. And we see this happening a lot. And the issue is, how do we fix it? Because sometimes you can't give what you don't have. Mm. If you are raised from a family where helps are not part of the family, they are there. Because I remember there was, I had an auntie who, I mean, when she's going out, she locks the cabinets, she locks the kitchen, <laughs> she locks everything. And the poor girl has to stay out. I had never even accused her. I, I, was, I just used to wonder, why? How so do do how this? do you manage? The, the, the poor girl will sit outside Ew. until she gets back home. She can come back at 9 p.m. <clears throat> and now, I, how, how do I know that? Because once in a while, when I go, maybe go to, take her home, take stuff, and I see the girl sitting out, and I'm knocking on the door, and she's not home. Where are you? Let me, let me get some water. Oh, the fridge is, they have, they have, the house is locked. Not. So where are you staying? I'm here. Yeah, wait, I'm wondering, mm -hmm. what is going on? But, but that's, how, that's how she was raised. Because her mother was like that. Thank God I met, I met her mother. Her mother was also like that. She was real. So that's what you can't give what you don't have. So mm. how do we begin to learn. wrong, I mean, right these wrongs so, yeah, that many of us have been out. raised with? Yeah. yeah. So, so it's to point it out to them. And because yeah. you're right, sometimes you've, you've seen something done, you know, all your life. And you think that's the way it's done. You, so you fail to see the problem within it. There are just very few people that can actually look at a problem and just realize that this doesn't feel right. So as friends, as neighbors, you can point it out to them. in love <clears throat> from the very beginning. Why don't you do it this way instead? Why don't you make sure you, know, you get her? If you're so afraid that, because we have um, incidences, so let's also look at why some people do that. Incidents is where you leave a maid with children and she packs the children and she runs away, yeah. Yeah. you know, she or she's just them. come, she has not stayed with you long enough, but you have to be at work. Then you have to find a different way to do that. You cannot lock her out without food, you know. And um, that's why also, you know, we were talking, ab we've talked here about where you get these people from, at their agencies, so that you can also have somewhere, you know, they're afraid of, you know, being caught because they're coming from somewhere. But we need to keep talking about it. But, you know, there's a part, I, I just really also want to understand the thing about women and other people's children. Mm. Some women and other people's children. Is there, is it like an innate survival instinct to want to destroy another child? Mm. Like if you have children, <coughs> you know, your children and another child brought in, is it like an animalistic instinct mm. to be wicked to another? I would really love a psychologist that can help us deal with it. You know, if that's the case, then we should understand that as women, we don't feel comfortable having other people's children in our midst when we have other children. And so, you know, so that we can make legislation around it. Because for it to happen over and over and over again, even with the <clears> fact that people have been called out, people have been locked up, because there are, and people are still doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. For me, I feel that you'll be af either you're afraid of getting caught, or you're afraid that you may kill someone's child, or just that empathy, you know, would stop you from. Mm, but if none of these things happen, you know, occur to you, what so, is there that we need to, you know, look at? So, some women find it, um, not even just women, because kids too, for some individuals, it's not easy to move into an unfamiliar fami yeah. uh, uh, environment. territory, mm -hmm. environment. So you see women, once a strange child, okay. according to them, is brought home, you know, to them, they feel the need to guide, guard their territory. And... In kids too. So you in that position, you need to earn the love and trust yeah. of that person. Yeah. And also for children, because I know my son was very hostile towards everybody as a baby, but he would sit with the person whose love he trusted, yeah. which was that Yolu, that till today, if I'm running late, I'm sure he will leave the house, <coughs> even though there are family members at home. When he needs to eat something, he would walk all the way back to Yolu, not her daughter-in-laws, not her son, not anybody, not my friend that is in my own shop, not anybody else but that woman. You know, can I get Gawi? Mm. Only her. Because that's who he trusts. And there are other people whose friendship I've earned who wants to also show the 
care for him because I'm not around, but he would not extend it. He would only stay where he lost trust. And so I want to believe that that emotion or that is, is both ways between an adult and a child. I have used, applied the law because I had to earn my son's trust. And I have extended it to all their friends. When they come, there's a child's language that you can speak and the child will feel comfortable. I now see them crowding yeah. the house. I used to fe fear them. I still fear having too many <coughs> kids at home. But because I l I've learned to speak a child's language, yeah. and you know, so they've come to trust they, will, you. they will tell you anything. They will come open. And if you have a, a strange child you're afraid of, trust that the child is also watching you know, and thinking. When, when you're talking about trust, trust, I was remembering, because I, I had a help. Peace. Peace came to my house at the age of 19. She's married now. She has mm -hmm. moved on. And when she came in, she had that issue of trust yeah. because obviously she had fear. Mm -hmm. She was afraid to eat comfortably. Mm -hmm. She was afraid to eat at the dining table. Yes, she was yes. afraid to see you. You know, she's always so scared. I'm mm -hmm. thinking... Come and sit down. Eat. Based because off where she has, was coming, yeah, from. She's coming, coming from. from. So it took time. <clears throat> you know, every little thing. Fact, she wants something, she'll hide it. Mm -hmm. yeah. She'll take something. She'll have had her food. But when I'm coming to the kitchen, she doesn't want me to see the food. Mm -hmm. Maybe how, how, how much, how massive. How, how massive it is. She'll be hiding. I'm like, what are you hiding? Mm -hmm. See, if there's anything mm -hmm. that I've been trained, when it comes to food, mm -hmm. that's don't worry. It. Yeah. Food is not something. I think all of us can learn from each other. Yeah. Food is the, should be the least issue. Yeah. In, in, in our homes, especially when you have helps, people live, it's, it's a joy yeah. for everybody to be fed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, at, you know, let's make an attempt to, you know, understanding the psychology of women yeah. that do this. The first thing is, there are some people from whatever or wherever they are coming from and the mindsets they've had for a long time, believe that all human beings are not equal. Yeah. Mm. And so there are people that are lower than others. Yeah. And so when you come as a help, if you're, it was good for you, your parents will not send you off as a help. You're definitely lower than me and my children. Mm. And you will be treated in that way. What That's the crux of where yeah. this comes from. Mentality. So you separate, there's a separation in your home where mm. this one is this caliber, that one is that caliber. And so people who are servants should be treated a certain way. They should not eat where the children eat. Mm. They should not sleep where the children sleep. That's how it starts. And then it that extends to, okay, you, when I'm going training. out. Yeah, yeah. Training, also mm. training, and what they have seen. Mm. Because everybody's coming up from one trauma or the yeah. other of your environment, yeah. what they are used to, what they have seen, and all of that. When I was growing up, every help who came to our house had access to everything. Yeah. And I picked up on that. That's how I run my house. When you come to my house, in fact, my very first help that was a young girl, who stayed with me for eight years before she finally left. People felt it was my first, she was my first child that I had her outside before yeah. the other ones came because she now somehow started looking like us. We go everywhere we have. When I'm shopping, then I used to shop at Red Tag inside the mainland, you know, that Red Tag uh, store in the mainland. I shop for her. Like there was no separation because for me, everybody is a human being. And so for us to begin to change this is to understand that this child may be disadvantaged today does not mean her destiny is disadvantage. Yes. She's a human being. You never can tell where this child will be. She has an opportunity to experience you. How are you showing up for this child? Mm -hmm. How are you showing up for this person? Even when the adults came. And sometimes I'll look back and like, when they treat me bad at the end of the day, I ask myself, is it because I'm too nice or I'm too mm -hmm. free? Mm -hmm. And then my husband will remind me, be who you are. God will always give you good people. Mm -hmm. And so far, I've not gotten a help that steals. Mm -hmm. Because what, what do you want to steal? You have access. You Ma put it madam, open, no? Yes, madam, I want to eat this one. Take, Take it. Madam, I want to eat that one. Take. So, in fact, when they come for the first two weeks, they are eating, 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 eating. Yeah. I will be laughing. Because I know that I'll after a while, why. they will be tired. Of, I'll not be begging. Have you people eating today? We are busy. We are busy. Because the food is there. Nobody is hiding it. Yeah. So now instinct to hoard and steal is taken out. Yeah. So if, even if you don't have enough that you're managing, there's a way you can manage it and spread it so that people do not feel disadvantaged. Now, when it comes to that wickedness of hitting and hurting and using fire yes. and using different yes. things. That one is on the borderline of position. mental issues, mm -hmm. where you have deep anger issues with yourself, first of all. You don't love yourself. You don't know who you are. Every frustration of life, you are now channeling it to somebody else. And somebody you need vulnerable. to be vulnerable person who cannot you. defend themselves. Mm. And because you have your own children, somehow, sometimes when you look at those people, when there are no helps in the house, they channel that amount of enormous anger, even towards their own children. Mm. But when other people are there to collect it, they, their children are safe somehow, and then they channel it to the next person. So we need to start, when you have, there's a family member of mine who today we did not allow to have help because of this. 
She has deep anger issues. Mm. She can stone anything. And we say, ah, and say you will do your work it. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Be a strong, independent because woman. You, get you will sweep. Up. Yeah, you will sweep your house yourself. You, we don't allow yeah, her to have help. Exercise to exactly. Yeah, and she does that effortlessly. Uh -huh. She will still be complaining this that she's house. tired. I'm doing everything. Yeah, I'm doing I'm everything. Tired, but do it yourself. There's something that Mariam said earlier that I like us to talk to, um, talk about because people don't see it. How do they see it? Because they don't know they're doing something bad. Mm. To them, they just don't. They, ah, it's well, like I don't they, don't, they don't get it. No, when, when, it. You, when you hurt someone, you will know. You know. I have a very close to 70 years old who had a young girl living with her. My kids and myself will visit. Because my kids know we, we are not allowed to do that. You know, they found it strange that it was, this person was incapable of loving that child. The child was below, 15, below 13. Mm. You know, and in one of those episodes, the children, you know, children, the way they warm up to each other, they were saying, talking about the experiences. I said, ah, even to take food, I have to pile it. They'll give me inside the polythene bag to take to school. That the even noodles that they put it in polythene bag and they said I should be eating it in school. And I was like, ah, in the days of takeaway, hmm. plastic plates and plastic spoons, bag. how hard can that be? And I checked, I looked around the person's house, I saw plastic plates. Ah, you know, if you do, when some, some things you do, you even know. you're with your child, yeah. when you're upset with your child and you're beating, yesterday I had a very strong exchange with my child because my help forgot where the socks were and you know, I've been busy these few weeks, I've not been able to sort out anything. And we're, I was saying, please, my son, just manage what I have. The moment he could, we go, get out, move, you know. <laughs> I don't and have no time to do. When I got to halfway to work, I remember, remember the, his sensitive nature. I called Too the bad. boss and asked them to give him the phone and I apologized mm. and said, this is, I've been busy, but this is not your fault. This is the help's fault. Mm. I will sort it out. I will ensure your socks and clothes are in the right places next time. And we sorted it out. I knew. Mm. And you would know. There's nothing. You, you see, no, when you, you bring down, the, when you no, bring down the world on somebody, you know. Mm. But this person, when I looked into her past, she was worse. She was, in fact, this one that she's doing, was paradise. She was, was mm, the worst mm, kind mm, mm, of treatment she was given. Worst tally. Yeah. <laughs> that she was treated. She was, it was just, and she lived yeah. with family too. Mm. She, it was justified, justified. that she, did, she shouldn't go to school, as mm. brilliant as she was. It was justified that she should be made to walk at the express, mm. it was just fine that they could not, she was not entitled to underwears even to when she turned to, uh, got, got to puberty. Jesus. And, you know, they justified it as upbringing. Hi. And so she learned early how to make her own underwears by the tailor's shop. Okay, so, 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 so the reason why I said you know? people don't see, because I remember, I was going to share a story. And when my mother-in-law uh, moved in with us, I had my <coughs> help. And she's coming from her own worldview. Mm -hmm. In her own worldview, helps still. Helps cannot be trusted. Yeah, 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 you, they, 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 all sorts of things. Yeah. So she came in with that mentality. And every little thing my help did, she was always accusing her. Yeah. Every single thing. Something, ah, she stole it. Also, and I'm like, no, she did not. Because I have also worked, lived with this person. And I Long trust enough. her. I don't lock my room. I don't lock anything. Everything is open. So I kept defending. And my, 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 my mother-in-law would insist. Say, no, this thing, this girl took it. And after a while, she'll find him. I was going to say, don't mind, mommy. That she's been doing this for years. Everybody steals from her. She will find it eventually. But she couldn't understand it because in her own mind, mm. this Every, girl must be stealing yeah. something. Yeah. She'll be investigating, try, trying Mindset. to test. So tomorrow, now they're <coughs> best friends. She can't do anything without my uh -huh. help. So they go to the market together. She, in fact, my help cares for her like her own mother. She constantly checking on me. Have you had breakfast? Uh, have you blended the pepper? Do you want, you know? And I, and, I, and, I, and I keep looking at this and I say, Mommy, see how you, you, you I would have sent this girl away because based, if I had, on. If I, based on what you had initially mm. insisted. Because for that first few years, she insisted, say, this girl, there's something wrong with her. She couldn't believe it. But <coughs> her mind view was that they come to steal. Mm. So sometimes it's not because we want to be wicked. It's just that many people just know, they feel that, these yeah. people from these certain groups of people, they, they cannot be trusted. Yeah. And I must, have, I must have my eyes, I, can, I, must, I must fear, I must, I must um, starve them to, to get to the point to see, mm. to make sure that to, to break them. Yeah. No. Break them enough to serve. That's okay, goodness. so you know, and then you see she learned from yes. you and how you treated her decently yeah. that, you know, she's different. Um, so yes, we're, you're right. A lot of the times we respond because of the... Of, of what we have seen, what we have experienced. And even people would say to you sometimes when you do things, like, how did you leave your room open for this person? Mm -hmm. I remember there's this, uh, my mother-in-law's friend that's always used to tell us this story. Every time you see her, she would tell you over and over again. She would say, this is my maid, stayed with me for decades, mm. nearly 20 years. The day that she was going to leave, 
she went into her room as if she was cleaning it as normal mm. because she always trusted her. She said she packed all her gold, put it in the basket, put it covered with dirty clothes and walked out of her house forever. Mm. And she had been with her. So imagine if someone else would come oh, into that mm. woman's house. Mm. She would Who stand trusts? over her head. Yeah. And if she's going out, she would lock her door and tell yeah. her to stand outside until she comes back. So now there are two things about employing children. I don't believe in that. Mm. You can't even employ mm. children. Mm. That Take that away. Yeah. Then when you're an em employing an adult, then you have to set the boundaries. Yes. What you want and what you don't want. Yeah, from the beginning. And then I always, you know, I, I say this to my people that work with me, my domestic staff. I said, this is a job, it's not slavery. Mm. Yes. I, nobody put a gun to your head. Yeah. You can decide that I am done and I'm mm -hmm. leaving. Yeah. The same way I can decide before it degenerates into anything, you know. So understand that there are boundaries, that these are human beings. They're here to work. At the end of their work, <coughs> you give them their wages. Yeah. And that's it. Be decent to human beings. Simple as that. Where you see that they are not being decent or they are overstepping their boundaries, you can't take it anymore. Bye. Where is the children one where we are mm. taking advantage of vulnerable, vulnerable people because of their age, their size, the circumstances from which they're coming from. That is the problem. And I feel that, you know, we should look at this deeper. I think there's something that is happening in yeah, the brains of women. That you will see a small, vulnerable child, and you what to comes to you is to crush that child even spirit. further. I don't get I it. If you comment on social media, I'd like to hear what Nigerians are talking, <coughs> uh, saying concerning this, because this is a story that um, is very heartbreaking. I was going to link it up again to mm. the irresponsible behavior of a mother who was blowing shisha into a baby. Uh, huh. Because we're just discussing irresponsibilities as, as much as we love to celebrate women this month. We also have to use the opportunity to highlight some of the things we do, yeah, we do. that are irresponsible. So uh, I'm going to go on a short break now. When we come back, we'll take a few comments, and then we move on to the other segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 